Hello and welcome to Doz's TV Workshop. Um, I've done a few of these sort of little echo radio receivers uh, recently. There's one on the blog. Um, there's another couple uh, that we've also done. I've also got one myself to finish off. But this was given to me um, the other day. Arrived in a cardboard box full of bits. Um, in very shabby condition. It's missing its knobs, which is going to be a problem. Um, there's wires cut. And uh, yeah, it's generally bad condition. The dial's nothing to uh, nothing to write home about, which is a shame. But uh, on the whole, it was complete. Um, so we had a look at it, and uh, we've made it work again. I'll just take you through uh, some of the some of the design features, shall we? Oh, in common with uh, many radio receivers um, made by Echo of this period. This actually dates from sort of 1959. Um, so any sort of mid late 50s echoes seem to have the same valve lineup um, this is a, a VHF uh, AM set so it's FM and AM uh, long and medium waves yeah so valve lineup I'm going to refer here to the service data sheet uh, UCC 85 that sits up there on this model uh, VHF tuner just to the left there um, in common with uh, these echo receivers, this and uh, the one we featured earlier on the blog, the HT to the VHF tuner is only switched in on the wave change um, control, only switched in when in uh, VHF mode. Good job really, because the UCC85, um, in some receivers it's a um, BCC85, depending on how the heaters are wired, um, draws a lot of current through it, uh, so it, uh, it can uh, be low emission giving uh, obviously bad results. Right, that's followed by uh, UCH81, um, which is the frequency changer on AM, and uh, an IF amplifier on FM. Uh, UF89 pentode, IF amplifier, UABC80, um, which is the ratio detector for FM demodulation. There's a demodulator deviation capacitor underneath. And um, it's uh, the AM detector on uh, an audio frequency amp on AM and FM audio frequency section of it anyway um, audio is of course passed to the only valve we had to change on this one at very low emission and which is a UL84 and a rectifier is a UY85 one thing that does differ from this receiver uh, from the other echoes it's got an indicator tube on the front it's got one of those uh, looks like an exclamation mark it's behind there and it's a DM, oh, DM70 tuning indicator. Um, bit of a white elephant really, obviously in vogue at the time. So there we go. Unfortunately the set has a live chassis, so one side of the chassis is returned to the mains. So it can't really be connected to the mains until we've done something with these knobs. Um, they uh, obviously require insulation so you don't come into contact. And I did manage to buy these and I thought this is rather nice, these will fit on nicely, look. Look quite snazzy, so we've got uh, an elastic, brilliant. But as you can see in the write-up on the blog, I mega this up and it conducts. So whilst the body is plastic, the, the shiny chrome bit is obviously some metal covering. Back to the drawing board. Um, so obviously if we want to switch it on now, I've got a mains isolation transformer so we're safely isolated from so let's put some voltage on there and wait a little while we should see some heaters start to glow yeah there we go you see the UCC85 let me comes out on the camera it's glowing nicely rectifiers glowing nicely things should start to happen in minutes view let's look for the indicator there we go indicator tube in there there, another one saved from landfill. See you later.